Oh, hey, should we talk about Boston Dynamics' new, uh, new robot? One day, one day after they announced that Atlas is no more, they announced a new all-electric humanoid robot also named Atlas. Um, you want to watch the video? Yeah, I mean, I've watched it now, obviously, but it's worth watching again. I love how they made it stand up. It's just... Dude, seriously, this <laughs> legitimately reminds me of iRobot. Like it, it, it looks more it looks more fake than it does real. Yeah, it looks like I, it looks like a game. It looks like a character out of a portal game or something like it. I've always had kind of a theory that like the the people and the contracts that are that are working with Boston Dynamics they they kind of want their videos to appear sort of terrifying. Um, I don't know. They are masters, masters at viral marketing. I mean, they've got 4 million views on this video. Yeah. And the more terrifying they make it, the more people are going to share it. Go, oh, have you seen this? It's crazy. It's spooky, man. The robots are going to take over. This looks super cool, dude. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, right? Like, why do your limbs have to only bend the way that human limbs do? They might as well just, like, bend in in any way that you want, but, like, but still be human-shaped so that you can take advantage of how the world is kind of made for humans. Yeah. What kind of jobs are these going to do? Oh, I am nice. amazed at how, and obviously we can't, we can't quite tell, um, but I am amazed at how apparently human-like the form factor is I, I i i don't know i mean obviously i'm not i'm not uh an expert when it comes to um is robotic it much design more human-like than atlas was atlas was pretty bulky atlas was like a human with a gigantic hey, backpack you know some people are pretty bulky but this is atlas was very like barrel chested yeah i guess the the legs on atlas were kind of like naturally curved out so that wasn't as... At Atlas was hydraulic, right? This is yep. electric? Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't change appearance much. Uh, it might be the extra overhead of all the cables and pumps and things, maybe. Mm. This is wild, dude. It's nuts. I just keep looking at this going, like, I, I thought we were... A, like, a, I'm, I'm obviously not an expert when it comes to robotics, right? Like, it's not what I do. But I thought we were a lot more years away from something that was this clean and this compact. Mm -hmm. that's what's really blowing me away about this like how how does that have enough battery power to operate yeah. on board it yeah like where even is it probably in the chest somewhere but still that's wild yeah right yeah. Why, why wouldn't you just put it everywhere yeah i mean maybe yeah well more wiring is actually it, it yeah. adds complication i mean it yeah. help, might help with weight distribution but no it, idea there's definitely going to be trade-offs there Wireless charging in the feet, yeah. That that you sure. might also not have one battery that powers the whole thing. Like those, those like, uh, it's like quad where where you would normally have quad muscles are pretty bulky. There might be batteries like for the legs in that area. Not sure. Or that's just all infrastructure for the knees. That's probably what it is. Man, I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, figure robots. We, I'm pretty sure we've watched that figure AI video on on WAN, didn't we? Where it like hands the person the apple and stuff. Did we not watch that? I can't remember. Yeah, oh. we did on WAN. We did. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Have you seen? Oh, I literally closed it right as you. Wow, looked. nice. Um, uh, while he looks that up, Keanu Reeves is apparently going to be the voice of Shadow the Hedgehog in the upcoming Sonic Three movie. Nice. Um. The plot of the movie reportedly involves Dr. Robotnik getting his groove back after the events of Sonic 2. So, yeah, it could be, could be interesting. Um, cool. Okay, you ready? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Oh, it's an ad. Nice. Cool, a backpack. It's not a backpack. Okay. Is this it? Yeah, have you seen this? Do you recognize this? No. Okay, so maybe we haven't then. Maybe Dan and I were just talking about it. Sorry, I you, thought this was the one that you watched on WAN. You kind of need audio. Can we get that figured out? Uh, no, yeah, I'm sure I can live without it. He's he's telling it to do something. It's going to do something. That's uh, fine, it's, I get it. It's definitely better with audio. Oh, wow. Because he does reasoning and stuff, like, through audio. 
So like he's asking him to tell him like why he's doing different things and in what order while he's doing a different thing actively with his hands. That's pretty cool. Where should all the dishes go and stuff like that? I think is while he's putting the garbage away. So he's like doing a task Mm. while talking about a different task. Alrighty. And the world's going to be wild. And then he tells him like, based on, based on what you see in front of you, where do you think the cup and the plate should go? And then he says something along the lines of like, I think they should go in the drying rack. And then he tells him to actually like do it. So he has it, he has it reason it out first. And then I don't think he says like, put them in the drying rack. I think he says like, okay, do that or whatever. Like put them away or something. Yeah. Huh. He looks a lot more useful than my kids. (laughs) Huh. All right. Well, good luck, humans. 